This USFL Picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet fifty dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Sleeper. You already play fantasy on Sleeper, but now you can win cold hard cash with their over under game. Just head to sleeper.com slash SGP on your phone to join the SGPN group, and Sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to $100. That's sleeper.com slash SGP. And make sure to download the SGPN app, your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Hey, it's Scooby right here, AKA Shark Dog, listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. No, Sean. I'm just looking at my New Jersey Generals future. Oh, still eight to one. Still eight to one. The future I, is bright for. Uh, I don't know. Stars eighteen oh, to one. Oh. Future that I gave out. Well, I think it was last week, or yeah. maybe the week before. Last week, eight. I mean, they've essentially. Well, uh, and, and Brian Scott might be back. Yes. All right. Joining us to talk <laughs> USFL, Colby Dan, aka the Danta Base. I mean, just hopping right in on the Tout Fest. But the Stars are three and three, two games back from the Generals in the North. But really, they're they're two games ahead of the Panthers and the Maulers, top two teams in the North, make it to the playoffs. They, I mean. Have they locked up a playoff spot? Essentially, no. Philadelphia many, not yet. How many no. games are left? Uh, we got four weeks. Yeah, four so regular season. Yeah, seven, weeks. eight, nine, and ten. So yeah. wow. Yeah, but <laughs> it hasn't been. It, I'll be well, honest. And, like, and is this going to go longer than the NBA? For kudos playoffs? to uh, kudos to the USFL for cashing the over on a uh, number of weeks uh, oh. that it, it was a league. A lot of people they set the line at uh, five and a half and it cashed the over. So congrats. Not only that. They're talking expansion. I don't know if you saw that uh, recent article that was published where they interviewed uh, uh, what is it, Rupert Murdoch's son? I don't know, but uh, uh, they're talking expansion, man. This is I'm telling you, I knew this was gonna work, guys. Come on! <laughs> All right, here we go. Play that USFL music when you're getting down in the USFL. Gotta head over to Win Bet, Bet Big, Win Bigger with Win Bet. Oh man. You can bet fifty dollars, win two hundred dollars in free bets. Win bet casino offering a one hundred percent deposit bonus up to one thousand oh dollars. You can bet on the match, uh, that sweet golf uh, golf match you got going between Aaron Rodgers and a Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, and Josh Allen. So much action, NBA, NHL playoffs. Get down. On all of them over at winbet.com or download the win betting app. Bet big, win bigger. Let's win bet. If you take the generals off the schedule, the generals and the stars play each other to, to close out the season. So, two games back, really, there's a game there that can settle some things. Now, if you combine the wins of the other three games the stars play, mm -hmm. three wins. They play the one in five Panthers, the one yes. in five Maulers, and the one in five Gamblers. I know that's how I didn't understand how is it Still eighteen to one? to one? Like their their odds of getting in the playoffs are so good, and then once you're in the playoffs, you only have to win two games. Well, and, and DeAndre Johnson's injured. Yeah. So I mean, who is who? You know, again, I had him in DFS, and I had uh, Colburn, the uh, the Stars running back, which like blew my lineup up. He had three touchdowns, I think, like one hundred and thirty yards. And uh, you know, I needed DeAndre Johnson. He he was banged up going into the game, played, then eventually got knocked out, and then uh, 
What else happened in that Generals game, Colby? Perez came in. Uh, Kevin Sumlin was winning at halftime again, which means he, he is. <laughs> you he know has what? had the was, lead in every single game. I was thinking about it. I cannot remember a team's name that so matched the team <laughs> with the Gamblers. Right? You're always up big, and then you fucking <laughs> blow it in the second half. Yeah, just bet against them in the second half. Live as bet soon as you thing, right? as, as soon as you go up, you're gonna give it all back. It's a it's a classic uh, gambler's fallacy. So it's it is perfect that they're named the gamblers. All right. We're going to get into our week seven, USFL picks and a DFS lineup at the end. But before we get to that, we are ready for this week's edition of real men of D gens S G P N presents real men of D gens real men of D gens We salute you. Corey Ziedman, a former World Series of Poker bracelet winner, arrested on charges of fraud, money laundering, relating to a $25 million sports betting scheme. Some call him the ultimate tout. Running uh, radio commercials on AM radio, he then operated a sophisticated white collar approach to gathering sports information, or so he claimed that he told the the people buying his picks that he had access to privileged information from college doctors and physicians. Of course, he had none of that. Uh, he preyed on individuals who were led to believe he had inside information that would lead them to easy money. Wait. We salute you, Corey. The best part is oh. he, he scams these people out of twenty five million dollars <laughs> and then uses it for poker tournaments. Well, wait a second. Are you saying he's being this is a civil uh ca- something civil criminal. Ca- criminal case? Yes. I I'm gonna say this and uh, I'm gonna look right at the camera. Are they coming f- for Vegas Dave well, next? I'm gonna w- if th- this can set a set a very interesting precedent because we've heard this guy in LA AM radio. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it's the yeah. guy, right? Like you don't come to me with five grand. Like you want to talk to me about investing a hundred grand and, and get my information. I've heard this guy. It's great. He's classic tout. But if you're telling me touts can now be taken down for in mis- reality, misrepresenting <laughs> this the truth, is great. the uh, Homeland security investigator. I love this. In reality, <laughs> he was selling nothing but lies and misinformation, bilking millions uh, from victims along the way, leaving their lives in financial ruin and their bank accounts empty. So it's, it's apparently illegal to sell bad picks. Dun, 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 Thankfully dun. we don't sell picks. Fucking Robin hit a hood over <laughs> here, Sean. Yeah. I, I would say if I'm a tout right now, I'm keeping my head down. Cause <laughs> Keep, it sounds a lot like if you sell losing picks, you, you're committing a crime. It, it's pretty funny. I, and I guess maybe the crime was when he started saying he had inside information from the doctors. These guys also, I mean, <laughs> come on. You're we telling me to, a tout service hasn't misrepresented their <laughs> affiliation. It is, it is a scary precedent to set. Now they they're, they're generally doing it the Italian way. Like we, some guys we know. Yeah. Someone with a uh, with an ear to the situation. Someone with privileged information told me. Uh, it's interesting though. I'm gonna have to do a deep dive because I, if I was a, if I was a tout selling picks out on Twitter, I'd be scared right now because I see all these apology videos, Sean. People getting beat <laughs> real bad. What do they do? They put the video up. They say, "I'm sorry. I'm better than this. I can do better. I have to get back to work." I'm gonna take work. a break. Back in the lab. Listen, uh, I'll, I'll say the same thing, but I'm not gonna charge you ninety nine uh, dollars for the next pick. Or the pick after that. Shout out to X Freshy in the YouTube chat saying he's here for the XFL no, yeah. or USFL talk. Uh, he feels like the usage of quarterbacks and running backs in the USFL is way too high. <laughs> it's because they suck. Too many rotate in and out. Well, well Colby, that, Colby loves that. Well, also, that's kind of the storyline going in for this week. It does make it tough for DFS and betting purposes. Normally, you know, you, you know the starting quarterback going into the game you're betting it's on, help. which is helpful in handicapping these games. Sean, you know I love a league where, where the first pick in the draft's <laughs> cut by week seven. Yes. My, All right. Uh, <laughs> look, <laughs> Shay Patterson. Shea Pat, we got some like uh, musical chairs going on within the USFL. So Shea Patterson cut by the Michigan Panthers surprisingly because he looked pretty decent the past two weeks. The first the per, the first four weeks he looked like shit. He starts to play better. Hardly Jeff Fisher says, good. "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You completed that pass." <laughs> Let's get you off this we, roster. We, 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 <laughs> this is not Jeff Fisher football. This is not 
<laughs> this is not Michigan Panther ball. So he's cut, and like instantly the Breakers pick him up, which I actually think he might end up because I. Of I, course, someone yeah. picked him up. And yeah. the Breakers play him this week. Yeah. It's the classic. <laughs> That's what I said to Ryan when uh, we saw so the news. Dumb. We were flying back from Vegas, <sighs> and uh, I hadn't looked at the uh, schedule yet for week seven. Admittedly, and uh, Ryan goes, "Oh, Shea Patterson got cut," and I go, "Oh, I bet you, uh, I bet you the the team that's playing him is going to pick him up, get the playbook." I Dang. mean, I bet, I, do they have a playbook? I don't. <laughs> they can't have a playbook. Run right, run left. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I mean, if they're bringing in guys off the street, you can't really have a playbook. Here's the thing. I'm kind of joking, but I'm not. Like, if there's a, you can't institute a whole playbook when you have a brand new starting quarterback who not only was he not like, uh, you know, starting, he wasn't in the goddamn league. Can, he wasn't playing can football. I, I'm going to say something very hot. I have a feeling if there was a coach that you could gain an advantage by getting his ex quarterback, <laughs> it's, it's Jeff Fisher. Uh, no, okay. it is Jeff Fisher. I think what they do is probably pretty simplistic. You're, and maybe you're, you're saying the Michigan Panthers run a vanilla scheme. No, I'm Ryan. just saying like maybe a little bit of understanding what terminology is could probably unlock the whole thing. Oh no, he's changing all his plays. No, yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna be jumping the snap. He's gonna go from seven to nine to eight. Well, eight. this is great because he goes to the Breakers, uh, which. I don't know what happened there. Maybe something happened in the locker room, but you would still think you keep him because you don't have any quarterback depth. Uh, Paxton Lynch is injured, yeah. right? So they picked up Josh Love, who was cut by the Pittsburgh Maulers a week ago, and I'm assuming that's the starter because it's the lone quarterback on the roster, right? So so it, Patterson now with New, New Orleans. Kyle Laletta Cheese uh, from the Pittsburgh Maulers <laughs> gets cut, right? Uh, DeAndre why, why, Johnson's why, injured. Why, uh, remind me, why Laletta Cheese? Oh, it's, it sounds like Valve. Val, Val, oh, yeah, Val, yeah, Valvita. Yeah, yeah. So we got to say his name, yeah. Lalita. Lalita Cheese. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, so the the generals have DeAndre Johnson injured. Luis Perez plays. They they grab uh, Valvita Cheese, and uh, <laughs> and and now you have the Pittsburgh Maulers, who I actually think Uh-oh. kind of kind of you know, they got Watch Matt out. Lee, an athlete. Then they then they signed. Rolling, rolling mm. down the rivers, the third rolling rivers from Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. I mean, come on. So you're saying the Maulers are still live to make the playoffs? Very much so. Fifty to one <laughs> to make the playoffs. To win. It all. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we're going to get to the actual picks before we do that. Shout out to Sleeper. Sean said enough. <laughs> no, I, I just want to uh, started my mind started drifting away thinking about the uh, three team player props. We've been giving out, hammering those away. And uh, it, it's so much fun. I mean, you know, you can win two X up to 20 X uh, very easy. Just over under NBA player props. MLB is coming soon. And if you're listening to this now, MLB may already be up there. Best part is you can join our squad. You can copy our picks. We can copy yours. So if you're in our sleeper squad, tag me. I'm always looking for a little bit of action. Sleeper.com slash SGP sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to $100. Use the promo code SGP sleeper.com slash SGP terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details, kicking it off. Uh, let's just go into the the Breakers Panthers game because the the New Orleans Breakers are a six point uh, road favorite. Now, of course, uh, all the games are played in the same spot, but they're laying six against the Panthers. Panthers are plus two ten money line dog. Total sitting at forty one and a half. I mean, is this not the uh, the, yes. the locks of yeah, all yeah. locks? Yeah. The only thing that's scaring me off is that this is just too easy. I mean, to your point, they're starting to get off the street. And their offense sucked to begin with. And the Breakers have a good run defense. Yeah. So it's like it, I, I, this one, I, you got to yeah. take the Breakers here. You got to, and you got to play the Breakers in DFS this week. Uh, right? we, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, the lineup I'm giving out is yeah. Kukus based. Uh, spoiler alert. But I will also be. It is a Saturday, Colby. We know about Slaughter Saturdays, and, and the Panthers' defense isn't horrible. Um, I know we were on auto unders early, but the the overs have been red hot. Red hot. I think nine and one in the last ten. Again, as we said, it would start out very early unders, and and then uh, you know defenses would fall apart, and offenses would get some rhythm here. So. I, I just don't see any reason why you're not locking up uh, New Orleans Breakers in a huge way. I mean, how bad is 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 Jeff Fisher? Uh, he, you know, he took Shea Patterson with the first pick at just looking and, and reviewing talent. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, look, I, I think Shea Patterson's a capable quarterback. He's and I an think, old guy now, but it's like. 
That's all it is. And then to cut them that fast, it's, it's absolutely hilarious. Lock up the breakers minus six. I mean, this I'll take the over too on this. I would love to be contrarian, but not here. No, I mean, uh, like Wait, is that why you went first here? You just wanted to get it out of the way? <laughs> no, well, we were just talking about the whole Shea Patterson okay. thing and how they're gonna. They have their playbook. <laughs> I mean, I just don't see. Well, they have no depth. Like, imagine if something happens. They don't even. They have an emergency quarterback, Joe Walker, a wide receiver. Yeah. Which I would love to see. <laughs> I would Colby's love like, to see. Colby's getting aroused with the thought of an emergency quarterback in the USFL. Look, all I'm saying Triple is, option, is bring him in, go. run the Wildcat. I bet you Michigan p- scores more <laughs> points than they've scored all fucking year. No, I mean, again, their offense has been so bad. I, I would agree in this case. <laughs> Generals laying four against the Tampa Bay mm. Bandits. Uh, Bandits plus 145 on the money line. Total sitting at 42 and a half. Generals had a big scare against the Gamblers. They pulled it out. Um, Would have been nice for my stars future. Although I don't think it really matters because they're both going to the playoffs. Um, Bandits have yet to beat a team with a winning record. Uh, Jordan Tamu, though, uh, finally coming to life. 333 yards, four touchdowns. They did end up losing to the Stars. The the Bandits' run defense was horrific. Uh, yeah, Colburn the, just ran the it down their throat. New yeah, which is which is the general yeah. strength. It's a bad. I am worried about the uh, the stuff going on at quarterback. Colby, what where are we at with the Generals? Well, we, they haven't announced uh, DeAndre Johnson's injury status, but obviously si- signing a uh, La, Lalita Cheese was was uh, one indicator but yeah. uh the reality is this I was talking to NC Nick about this without Brian Scott being healthy yet in, in Philly Luis Perez is the best quarterback in the north and he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league so it doesn't the philosophy changes a bit but Mike Riley I think is more content from his history honestly with the, with though the, with the lawn chair quarterback throwing could, the ball couldn't you see a little like couldn't you see the generals put up more points because now they're stretching the field maybe yeah, they're doing something. yeah yeah I well mean, first of all they're not Tampa won't be able to stop the run which means the play action will be there Cavante Turpin's the best player in the league that guy is electric oh, check, I'm just checking yep he's in the deal uh that, I'm, I'm I'm look I'm going chalk here I'm going chalk because the Jersey's Bandits not run losing. defense. Uh, yeah. t- talk to me when they're playing uh, Philly week 10 before the playoffs. I, I think we might have a weird, weird scenario where either New Jersey can kick Philly out of the playoffs or they're just going to play each other two weeks in a row. Wait, now real quick. Uh, Why'd you look at me like that? Uh, I'm saying I'm saying that New Jersey will have it locked up. Philly will at worst be on a situation with the win to get in. Yeah, but they will play each other the following week. Yeah, yeah. So you have like a uh, mid-major conf- end of conference kind of thing where the like Jersey has no motivation to win the game. Like, what do they even do? Except there? their history. Keep it vanilla. They're gonna play them the next week yeah. in the in the game that matters. So. Well, another thing that stands out to me here. Anyway, is so the, yeah, Jersey's not gonna have to worry about anything till then. Tampa's O line sucks, and New Jersey's D line <laughs> with Toby Johnson is really good. So I, I think this is just a bad matchup. I think the Bandits have yeah. been fool's gold. Currently, there are three and a half good teams in the USFL, and so the Generals are playing one of the teams that isn't on that list. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm worried I'm giving about the stars a half good team. Right? I'm worried about the uh, I'm worried Shout about the blob. the quarterback situation. But yeah, are we all in the generals here? Minus yeah. four, lock it up. I, I think this could be one where you just I mean, again, stay tuned for the DFS lineup. But I, I think the, the generals will be able to move the ball. Yeah, in a way, it opens up like. You know, the, the, obviously they have the two good running backs, uh, and then that Cavante Turpin, who's kind of like the Eric Metcalf of this league. Uh, uh, but I also think it opens up Satterfield, their tight end. A couple of their other receivers will get more looks. So in DFS, maybe you consider playing some of those. Well, and quietly, Jersey's had one of the better defenses. Granted, that's what they, I'm saying. Toby got, Johnson's a so. force on that D line. All right, shout out to Magic Man Blanco checking in, being Ooh. at work. And getting SGP is priceless. Going to be in Vegas this weekend. Can I get a three team USFL parlay with at least one dog? All Make right. Make a note to do that at the end of the uh, show. Yeah. I'm going to call <laughs> this the. It's a three. MBP, the, the, the Magic uh, Ma- Magic Man Blanco parlay. Uh, we will add to the lock and dog. So stay tuned for that after we get through the our Magic picks. Man thick leg parlay. <laughs> the third leg of a parlay. So you, he needs he needs three legs. So he just one a, yeah. pick not in there. One of them being a dog. Well, we'll see if I have any dogs. It, it's tough. It feels like a very <laughs> chalky week. 
Uh, summer is coming, aka sweaty sack summer. Oh man, I uh, it was a uh, it was a hundred degrees in Vegas. Luckily, I had my micro modal boxers, aka from Manscaped. I was well groomed down there. I had my nut in the trademark jewel pouch that Manscaped gave me. It is uh, ideal. Let your bulge breathe and very efficient for bathroom breaks. Again, uh, did a fair share of drinking, waking up in the middle of the night, have to take a pee. You want an efficient boxer like the one they have from manscaped again uh, there. Here's a, here's a visual for you. Imagine your balls sipping pina coladas, chilling on a hammock on some tropical beach. That's what it feels like when you slip on these boxers and the, the travel bag, the manscaped uh, travel bag underrated. Just go to manscaped.com promo code S G P and uh, triple X boxers are available as well from small to triple X. So I know uh, some, some listeners are some big boys out there. Manscaped.com promo code S G P 20% off and free shipping. Was that pouch size or waist size? You know, they didn't specify. So y'all let you guys figure that out, but we need to get the clips team to, to pull when, that. when you have the boxers 2.0, uh, <laughs> this is the actual line. Once the boxers 2.0 touch your sack, you'll never go back. Uh, Manscaped.com promo code SGP. Uh, I, I could see that. A good sack <laughs> touching is always fun. Uh, we need to pull the clip of uh, the me, me yesterday talking about the requirement for the next version for the automatic uh, rocket removal and landing. Oh yeah, that was so. amazing visual. Imagine if you had a backup camera like automatic thing. You go up to the urinal, hands up in the air. You don't have to do anything. Just free. free. <laughs> I mean, they got to figure Elon's it out. Elon's going to be on it. Pittsburgh Stallions, Stallions <laughs> lane 12 and a half against oh. the Maulers. <laughs> Birmingham Stallions. You said Pittsburgh oh, Stallions. Sorry. Birmingham <laughs> Stallions. I mean, he was thinking about Big Ben because the way I look right does now. It, does it really matter? They all play in the fucking same city. Birmingham He's Stallions. by my bald head. Go up against the Pittsburgh Maulers. Stallions lane 12 and a half. Total sitting at 41. Colby, is this not the easiest one on the board? I know Pittsburgh has been uh, stuck in auto fade, and the Stallions' offense is pretty good. But I, I, this is a historical spread. They almost covered against the Breakers. I, I don't know, man. At twelve and a half, I think I may have to go dog here. Yeah. This is the biggest line we've ever seen in the USFL, yeah. guys. History. Yes. I'm all. I think the Maulers have something. I think Vad Lee. I mean, he threw like a 95 yard pick six yeah. because they were that in really that was game. Backbreaker. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Pittsburgh Maulers, look, and I'm going to keep doing this. I did this last week. Let me hit that money line. Let me hit wow. that money line. That you know, if you're Birmingham, oh you want to lose God. one of these I, games. Right? I didn't see that coming. You can't and go the Stallions. Oh, I. We were probably going to save it for the DFS part there, but the Stallions are missing their leading rush, rusher, CJ uh, Marable. Didn't matter. But I mean, actually, yeah. time out. Let's talk no, about that matter. because they go Bo out. Scarborough they go came out and in. Get Bo Scarborough. Sixteen one oh five. I I know I do this with the NFL too. I question who they sign like as a front office Bo Scarborough comes in and like on the first rush I me and NC Nick text each other we're like holy he, shit he might need to be in the yeah. NFL yeah I'm like wait <laughs> I'm like this guy how how for 7 weeks was he just sitting out there this guy, I was assuming he was still on a, like an NFL roster. Deep. Nah, but there's something wrong with him. That's why he's not on an NFL roster. Like, there were there were, were reports when he le- like he was maybe lazy, didn't want to work. But hard. but still, I, I'm saying like, he looked me, good though. Yeah, if you're in charge of any of these teams, but I'm that's sorry, what, you, Scooby yeah, Wright, everyone should be fired. <laughs> Scooby Wright also uh, is, has been out back to back games, front of the program. So maybe the Stallions defense. Not quite as good. Not a ton of film on Vlad Lee. I, Twelve and a half is crazy. Kramer, are you going dog here? Yeah, I th- I think it's less. I mean, to Colby's point, right? They were in the game. Even if the, you know a ten point game, we still get the cover. It, it's hard for me to see. And, and I, I like the angle of Birmingham does need to. They are smelling themselves. They do need to lose a game. It, well, they, they can't g- go into the season. Undefeated. It, Birmingham's undefeated, but they give up yardage. So I mean, one of these days it's going to bite you. You'd think. Do we put a uh, a pizza bet? On Pittsburgh Maulers to win it all, fifty to one. Fifty to one. It would give you. It would give me. Uh, <laughs> How many teams do you have futures on right now, Ryan? <laughs> He's got that the well, whole league. I already have a little on Pittsburgh. I'm wondering okay. if I should put a little bit more. I oh. have forty to one. So now, <laughs> now is when the value pops. I mean, now, now I, I know no. we're kind of fucking around, but I, I think you could make a case uh, that. 
the values increase just because of the unknown with the new quarterback. Well, that was the justification like, last week, but yeah, they do and, at some point. And have I don't to think he games. looked horrible. And and shout out to our our chat. You know these USFL fans coming in. Jim coming in saying, uh, you know oh, he hates filthy that. domes. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. There's no personality to them. Shout out I, to the USFL first season I, here. No domes. I'm just visualizing in the future when the the Dgens only army has spread and we were at some live event and just people in the crowd are just screaming at Colby. Fuck domes. Yes. Like Colby's gonna have this just orgasmic moment, li- life moment, where he realizes he makes it when someone screams "fuck domes" to him in person. Yeah, buddy. Look, <laughs> you, don't, you don't play video player. games Pittsburgh's outdoors, player, right? <laughs> I mean, I like Birmingham to put up some points, but I think Pittsburgh can score some points too. And and maybe this, uh, dare we say, like th- th- maybe this is the low key highest scoring game of the weekend. Well, I, and I think actually the next game has a chance. Certainly the highest total. Of, uh, Stallion Smallers set at 41. I'm, I'm with Kramer though. I do like the over there. Stars Gamblers. This to me sets to be uh, up, sets up to be a shootout. Stars laying four. Total sit in at 43 and a half. The Stars run game uh, came to life. Kukus uh, looks pretty solid. And again, third time in six weeks, the gamblers have lost on the very last play of the game. Do we give? They the, really have gamblers' luck too. It's six pretty half time leads. Do we give them credit for playing well <laughs> against the best team in the league or second best? They're team good, in the dude. The Houston defense is actually legit. I feel bad for them. It, 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 like they should be better. I, I feel like Philly is going to lose this game. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm Same all page. over the Let's gamblers go. here. Wow. Plus one seventy. Uh, look, the stars are kind of fool's gold too, man, because their run defense sucks. Team, yeah. uh, Case Cookies is uh, is is uh, he's all right, but I mean, feels I, like Houston's run game could get off, and and Philly could be uh, playing from the old behind. Yeah, I, I just mean, don't know how you can take Houston right now. One in five, they just figure out ways to you're lose right, games. But the jersey's I'm really stuck good. on fade Sumlin. Jersey and and Birmingham are so much better than all the other teams in this league. Uh, New Orleans, I guess you can throw in there. Yeah, New Orleans. I I don't. To your point, I don't like laying the four, but I just can't, in good conscience, uh, encourage people to bet on the gamblers. Right. (laughs) Even though I'm wearing a gamblers T-shirt, I'm an analyst uh, first. I don't. Not a fan. I don't want to say not a fan incorrectly. Okay. Houston has a. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Better point differential. Than Philly, I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> Houston has a better point differential, <laughs> and they than figure Philly. out ways to lose. Phil- it's I almost mean, unbelievable. When you have a great point differential and you're one in five, something is fucked up about you. All <laughs> right? right, it's not great. It's still negative, but it's better than Phillies. <laughs> so come on, don't hate on the stars. I may be going to this game. Now, the more I look at this, the more it just looks like the hockey team's logo. They really <laughs> fucked up the. It, it's the worst logo in the league. The Gamblers? Yeah, no, the Stars. No. Yeah, gamblers it's horrible. It. Gamblers is the second best. Horrible logo. Horrible mats, mascot. Blob I'm talking to you, Blob. Fantastic. Blob, He's I'm worried. So great for the game. Blob, I am worried. Blob is catching. So it, it, there is a rallying cry around Blob on social media. Uh, that, I'm, I'm here for it. But I'm not. I, I think I'm it's the most entertaining of. thing that's happened in sports in ten years. All right. <laughs> Just All right. because you hate him so much. Let's go. Let's talk lock dog and the Magic Man Blanco parlay. Kramer, kick things off for you. You want me to go first? All right. Lock. Hmm. Well, I I locked up Jersey last week and it didn't work for me for the first time. So let's just let's lock up the breakers. I I think I'm with you. Like it seems Uh. so obvious to take this team, take this defense. For my dog, give me Houston plus one seventy. I think they get the win this week. And for my magic man uh parlay, give me he wants at least one dog. Yep. All right. He wants at least one. Give me Houston money line plus four. Okay. Give me Pittsburgh money line. Oh my god! And give me New Orleans minus six. Okay. I, I have a question. Do ha, I'll calculate that. Me, me and NC Nick were talking about this. Do they have teasers? Because this you would kill it here on a teaser with Pittsburgh plus eighteen and a half. I know even some of these parlays are tough to put into. <laughs> I, I although I do think in Vegas. They are pretty, um, oh, yeah. pretty open to the USFL. Did, did we did, have we told Colby about our sweet parlay win? Oh, just crushed. Oh. No big deal. Baseball, little little basketball, four, four teamer. Nice. 
All right, New Orleans minus six. I'm with you. That's a lock. Uh, I'm gonna go Pittsburgh. I mean, that plus four fifty. It's worth a shot here on the dog. Dog, is it? And uh, for my magic man, if you think that's worth it, you should take a piece of fifty to one. You should hop on the train. Yeah, all right. Maybe put like a little you know, twenty-five bucks, big big slice of pizza. Uh, <laughs> I'll go New Jersey Generals money line. Mm. I'll go New Orleans minus six, and then uh, Pittsburgh money line. Uh, th- for the Magic Man Blanco parlay, so I'm I'm slightly worried about the Generals getting the full cover. I don't want that to blow the parlay, but I I love those. My the parlay I gave out is going to pay plus nineteen hundred. Oh, oh, I'll calculate yours uh, oh in real God. time. Colby, what do you got? Uh, Lock dog and Magic I, I Man am, parlay. I am still locking up the New Orleans Breakers. Jesus, <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Has this uh, ever happened in, in spring football? First triple lock <laughs> ever. Uh, I, I, dog wise, let's go. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, let's go. Let's 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 hop on this. Uh, let's hop on this. Actually, I'm going gamblers. Gamblers is a safer play, but playing it safe. But for the for the parlay sake, let's go. New Orleans minus six, Pittsburgh and Houston money line. Oh my god! Let's have some fun. This is gonna break the machine. No, nothing will break the machine. The machine is is durable. All right, Sean, your parlay. Yep. Plus fifteen fifty. Okay, very reasonable. And then what's uh what what Colby Colby's out of control. I love. Oh yeah. It. Love oh it. yeah, buddy. Right. Colby's gonna have the biggest dog as usual. Gotta have I mean, some fun here. Maybe round robin these two. Dude, I think Houston is actually gonna win these. Uh, actually gonna win these. I don't games. actually hate that. The, the Maulers. I, I, I'm just saying Birmingham's gonna lose one of these weeks, right? And you gotta think this is the biggest spread ever, so they're probably thinking this is Chalk City, from a psychological Colby's point of view. Colby's parlay is gonna pay twenty seven hundred. Let's Damn. go. Let's go. Those are all great investment options. That and and all all that has to happen is a four fifty. It's the linchpin. That's all yeah. you need. All right, we're going to move over to our DFS uh, lineups. Before we get to that, let's talk Athletic Greens, aka AG1. You know, I've changed my name legally to Sean Athletic Greens because I love starting my day with that delicious AG1. Goes down smooth, and I'm feeling better every every day I have it. 75 high quality vi- vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I mean, immune system, energy, recovery, focus, aging. I feel like I'm getting younger by the day. Um, Honestly, you just feel good drinking it and it's a great way to start your day. Hey, I did something healthy. You're welcome body. Athletic Greens over 7,000 five star reviews to make it easy. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash S G P that's athleticgreens.com slash S G P. And of course also brought to you by IP vanish. You want to make your uh, IP disappear? Take it out in the desert, take it out for a ride so no one can find your IP. You don't want to broadcast your IP. And especially if you're not safe and secure, like you can be with the IP Vanish, encrypts 100% of your data. Your data is important, your data matters. Again, you don't want people getting your password, your browsing history. You can uh, hide all that, take care of it, lock it all up, take your privacy back today with the brand a rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and you get 70% off ipvanish.com slash SGP, promo code SGP, ipvanish.com slash SGP. Shout to uh, Moonoff in the uh, chat, hooking us up with a massive parlay, Ryan, while we are out there in Las Vegas doing z- some shows from the Blue Wire studio. Ignore all my uh, Miami Heat picks. Uh, everything else was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, we were so, I mean, we were on to something with the uh, the fix no. being in that late night deep dive we did with Scott yes. over on Beeson. We, we should have we, we just listened. <laughs> we should have listened and we should have followed even the, the money. I, I don't know how that Miami Heat team can be that bad. It's insane. All right, Kramer, let's kick things off. What do you got, DFS? Who's your quarterback this week? I'm going back to the Slaughter? No, I'm going, uh, I'm going Stallions. I think regardless of how you think this game goes, I think Pittsburgh to get the upset is going to have to score some points. And so I think, uh, I mean, Colby, how many games has Birmingham completely shit the bed offensively? Uh, none. Yeah. None. So give me yeah. Jamar Smith, 10,300. Okay. 
I'm going uh like I said, Case Kukis and that Sars offense. I know the the running game totally exploded. I'm gonna be playing some of the running backs, but I, I just like them against this gambler's defense. And to Colby's point, the gambler's defense may be not bad, but they end up lighting up a lot of points because their offense puts them in such bad spots. So give me Case Kukis eighty five hundred. Colby. Look, guys, it's Memorial Day weekend. There's gonna be a lot of fun in the sun going on. It's time to roll out that lawn chair. Clayton Thorson, the biggest lawn chair in the league. He is going up against a shaky Philadelphia Ooh, Stars defense. Is... T- Jordan Tamo just threw for over 300 yards against them. Give me Clayton Thorson, 8,600 as my play. I think Colby's on a way. Uh, Colby's going to win some money this week. I like Clayton. that. I like that. I, I'm go. I'm going big on the on the Stars gambler stack, and I do. Uh, I don't mind it coming the other way either. Uh, also, shout out to the uh, listener we ran into over at the Circa after a VEASAN appearance and uh, his buddy who he described as Mark Davis. I posted the photo uh, on Twitter. We retweeted his photo, but then I took that photo and posted it on Instagram and said, big thanks to Mark Davis for hosting us. And uh, I've already had someone reach out and go, you were hanging with Mark Davis. <laughs> Obviously, You need to look at the photo. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. And uh, he was, I'll he was included in the, in the episode. Yeah. Post. He was a wasted uh, commandos fan and, and, and he he, uh, he was not Commanders. happy. No, I know. Yeah. Oh, is that his joke? And and Davis is a lot of fun, but our weekends with Dan Snyder are, are a lot. Oh, a lot. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, the well, those are off. Those are off the books, Colby. Uh, yeah, he he was a big time Commanders fan. Although calling him the Commandos is funny. Yeah. Uh, and he he was as we were, were walking. Commander? I never I never heard. I, as I love that. Have they won a game before. Uh, as we were walking away, he goes, you know, one more thing about the Giants. And I turn like I'm already walking away. I turn around to say, "Oh, what?" He goes, "They suck," <laughs> which that kind of was like a perfect way to close out a meet uh, a meet up with some fans. So I can appreciate it. Bo Scarborough, running back. Ding ding. Now, I mean, I guess I you have to worry about uh, the other dude playing. But no, how do you? Play Did you watch him this past week? L- I- like. Dude, he, he, it was like uh, it was like uh, what was that video of that 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 like in Mexico of that gigantic kid playing football with like all these little kids? Oh yeah, that, I watched Bo Scarbo for thirty seconds and I was like, oh my god, he's destro- <laughs> He's way better than everyone in the league. Uh, well, so, yeah, what, why wasn't he playing? Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It was it was pretty revealing that I was like, okay, they need to fire all their general managers. I'm pretty sure we can <laughs> assemble a, a better rosters here at SGPN than them because he was on the Lions. I mean, like. I'm with you. I, I also have a uh, Scarborough in my lineup at 6,000 for my running back slot though. I have Scarborough in the flex. Oh. I have Colburn uh, the second. I think I still think he could have a decent game at 5,600. So Colby, what do you got? Are you playing Scarborough as well? I, I got Scarborough. I did go three running backs. Did you okay. go three running backs? Uh, is Osiris Mitchell? No, he's a receiver. So I have two running backs. I, I I also went Colburn with you there, Sean. Yeah, you got to um, you got to go Colburn. What about uh, Kramer? Who's your first receiver? Uh, Colby, what did, what did you say he was earlier? Uh, Kavante is Eric Metcalf of this league, man. but you you called him. What did you say? But he was he best was player in the league. Dyna- uh, did I you mean, say dynamic he, before Bo Scarborough from this past week, like. Kevante Turpin's the one that week in week out that I go. He's he's uh, he should be in the NFL. He, and you, he, and you, he's just faster than everyone in the league. Is he the Cam Phillips? Yes. Of this yeah, league, I yeah. mean, even better. I think even more like jumps off screen. Yeah. Phillips was putting up great stats, but like. Well, Phillips was more about his route running and catching. This guy just the, looks. Yeah. This new. I'm like, dude. He's be- the Jets should sign him right now because he's better than some receivers on the Jets. Shout out to uh, <laughs> XFL Jim checking in the YouTube chat. Shea Patterson revenge game, and uh, he's but, uh, he's watching from work and says just feels right. That's that's awesome. There we you go. Join us. Eighty three hundred uh, Turpin for the Generals. I got him too. I have a, uh, and I'm, I'm interested to know if Colby has him in his stack here, but give me Isaiah Zuber. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, I wanted someone from Houston and he was, there's, there's two guys. It seems like that are uh, the high priced uh, receiver options for Houston and, and, or no, sorry. I was, it was either him or Victor Bolden. And I went, uh, I rolled the dice with Zuber. Cause I do think Philadelphia's past defense has some opportunities. I think uh, they let up a punch against Tamu well, last week, right? Yeah, and, and I mean, there's a reason I'm playing Clayton Thorson. Yeah. Uh, Are uh, you stacking Zuber? I, d- I don't have 10, him. 10,300. Look, price. my angle on, on these DFS 
lineups, and I know last week, I actually thought I would have had a great week had DeAndre Johnson stayed healthy, but I didn't have a good week last week because of that. Uh, I, I think you go under value with the wideouts. I, and I think you stack up on the running back play. We had a guy in the chat talking about how the quarterback play has been. Did you go three running backs? Though? I did. Yeah, I yeah, did. Okay, and I too. think that's the logic here because the receivers, even with, even with Bolden or, or Zuber, Zuber's put up, you know, I think four or five touchdowns this year. Um, I still think it's kind of a gamble because he, he, they also like to throw to Jojo Ward. They also like to throw to a couple other guys, uh, Ratliff Williams. Um, I, I, so no, I didn't. I didn't spend that much. I have Turpin because they run the ball to him a lot. They they find creative ways Ooh. to get him the ball. Um, and then yeah. my other wideout is I went with I went for forty two hundred Bug Howard because Case Cookies. Oh yes, uh, I also have uh, the tight end for the Stars. Seems to be his red zone target as well. Well, not, look at when Cookies came in for for Brian Scott. He's he's given him six targets on average, six targets a game, which is pretty damn good for a tight end. And Bug Howard, he had some early success, then uh, then they went away from him. But to your point, when once Kukas got back in there, he seems to be one of his favorite targets, forty two hundred dollars. And again, I I think he's going to get some red zone looks against the uh, Gamblers. Yeah. All right, so I only have one guy left uh, to give out besides I, my defense. Okay, I have, I have two. two. Yeah. All right. So my all right. So my other my third running back is is Victor on the general. So I have a kind of general stack. Go there. with the bowling ball, Darius and uh, seventy one hundred. I, I, again, I just want to. You got to have a piece of this generals team every week. So I I kind of did the same thing. I got I got uh, Trey Williams, the generals' other running back. And okay. my logic here nice. is that with Luis Perez, they're probably going to stretch the field a little bit more. Which mm. uh, the pass catching back for them so is should I Williams. Swap it? I don't know because in the red zone, well, no, I, if they get inside the five, Victor's their guy. No, but I like I like your angle, and I consider doing that. And this can help me swap my my next receiver. So how much is where? where Trey is Williams it? is ninety four hundred though, so I don't know if you got that type of cash just no, sitting no, I, there. But I think I can upgrade, oh and then I'll eat the re- I'll swap the receiver now. And, and look, my my final running back is oh, Mark perfect. Thompson because the mm, Philadelphia yeah, Stars yeah. run defense has been God. dog shit all year. Thompson's coming off a bad week rushing the ball. I did have two receiving touchdowns, but I think Houston's do I swap Colburn for Thompson? I, I thought about doing that too. Tell Col- me yes. Well, with Tell Col- me yes. I, I think you should yes. because Colburn. We don't know if Paul Terry is healthy. All right. Colburn well, was the Thompson's backup. Thompson's going in. Yeah. Now we got to swap. We got to let's see. Uh, what's the cheapest receiver? That's a, I mean I went Bug Howard forty two hundred. Is there a three thousand dollar guy that's going to touch? I the just yes. I just I just swapped out Osiris Mitchell for Mark Thompson. Colby making a good point there, and and I want to get three running backs because I I'm with you. I think that's the way to play it. Well, All right, just a quick update. I now have Jamar Smith, Bo Scarborough. I have uh, Turpin and uh, Williams from the, the Generals, and then I have Thompson. As my third running back, I have thirty three hundred dollars for my wide receiver slash tight end, Colby. What do I do? Uh, what what are we looking at right now for thirty three hundred? Papali? Uh, no, he doesn't get enough <laughs> targets. If anything, you have you 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 have who who's on that list right there? Peyton Ramsey had a catch for forty yards this past week. Oh, um, that's he, it. He's also been on our show. No, no, he's so, he's a stack. He's also a stack. But for he me. hasn't he hasn't gotten a lot of shine before last week. That's fine. I need a long shot. Let's okay. go. Okay. We can always adjust it later. Peyton Ramsey, Ooh. double stack. My double stack with Smith. Xavier Jim saying you got to play some of those uh, Jersey uh, general running backs. I, someone, no, some, I, made, I made the case for this. Also, someone tell me in the chat who I should play for thirty three hundred or less. Actually, look for a general's wideout. Okay. Look for a general's wide because they're going to be passing the ball more. It, their smash mouth effect, I think, with DeAndre Johnson out. I think they'll stretch the field more. Is Satterfield available? I don't know the pricing off the top of my head, but. Uh, Consider some of those. All right, those we'll, we'll do that. Generals we'll, wideouts. I, I, and for my defense, how is the Breakers defense only forty seven hundred? Yeah, going up against a quarterback in a Jeff Fisher offense yeah. who hasn't there played week. football in a long we all, time. We all have the Breakers, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. Lock it up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're not going to play the Breakers, the only other option would be the Houston Gamblers because their defense is pretty good, and it seems to get like, they had a pick six last week, or not not a pick six, but a fumble recovery for a touchdown. So, uh, but I went breakers just because the Panthers, I don't know what they're doing. Breaker, breaker one, nine. All right. Uh, that was fun. Talking a little USFL. Make sure you check out the USFL gambling podcast hosted by one Colby Dan, AKA pick Dundee and uh college football experience. The 
every team episode previews starting soon, right around the corner. June is, uh, I mean, yeah, right there on Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, gotta, yeah. gotta check the numbers there, but uh, 131 this year. 131. Colby, what team are you most excited to break down? Honestly, I mean, look, it's probably. Honestly, I, I, we want your yeah, honest answer. I mean, I, well, there's a few that I, I, I love, but Coach Leach, I think year three has always uh, been a turning point. Four, especially year four, but three, when he was at Texas Tech, was a big year for him. Um, so I'm, I'm very eager to see Mississippi State, Will Rogers, year three. So I'm excited mm. to, to talk. Hell yeah. Hail State. Hail State. Also, you know me, I'm a sucker for the, for the service academy. So, you know, <laughs> Army football. Oh, yeah. Love to talk that. What about Brent Pry and the Hokies, huh? I I didn't want to bring it up, but yeah, it's an exciting <laughs> time to be a Hokie fan. <laughs> All right, lots of uh, action and action happening. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtubecom podcast. Get that SGPN app. Big stuff coming. You want to make sure you got that. Uh, thank you, everyone, as always. Thank you for participating in the oh. Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. He's Ryan. Sean, spring football. Kramer, let it ride.